Nikon D3500 Kit Assembly Guide. Welcome to your Nikon D3500 Kit Assembly Guide. This video tutorial will walk you through understanding and assembling your camera kit. The components of the D3500 kit include the camera box, which contains the camera, battery and charger, a strap, and two lenses. Accessories included are two lens filters, a camera bag, an SD card, and a card reader. Lens filters. Open the filter boxes and pry off the two sticker tabs. Avoid touching the glass of the filters to keep fingerprints from smudging them. Handling the filters should be done by touching the rims only. Lenses. Remove the lenses from the camera box. Unwrap the lenses and put the wrapping back in the camera box. Remove the lens caps. Carefully screw the 58mm filter onto the larger lens and the 55mm filter onto the smaller lens. Use extreme caution to get the filter started on the threads so they don't become damaged. Screw the filters on snug but not tight. If they ever get too tight, bring them to me so I can help you remove them with a special lens filter tool. Don't try to loosen them yourself. Put the lens caps back on the lenses. Take the camera out of the box and put all the plastic and wrapping material back into the box. We do this instead of throwing it away so that if we have to return the camera due to warranty issues or a repair, we can do so. Keep the camera facing downward as you remove the body cap from the camera. This keeps debris and dirt from falling into the camera. Remove the body cap from the lens. Then line up the white dots on both the lens and the camera and turn the lens up counterclockwise so that the white dot on the lens is up toward the top. The large button on the front of the camera releases the lens. Battery. Remove the camera battery from the box. To insert the battery into the camera, use the tab on the battery door to pry it open with your finger. The battery goes in only one way. It will click. Close the battery door. To remove the battery, Move the yellow tab below the battery to free it from the compartment, then pull it out. For now, leave the battery in the camera. Camera computer settings. Hold the camera, remove the back film if it's still on the camera, and turn the camera on. For the language, choose English. For the time zone, find the Pacific Coast of North America. For 
the date format you can use day month and year and turn on daylight saving time set the year month and day and then the hour and minute use your phone if necessary but get the right time and date into the camera then click OK when you're finished SD card. Open the packaging for the SD card. The packaging will be discarded so you may rip it or cut it open. The plastic card holder will be saved and reused so be careful not to damage that. You will be saving the card holder in the top of your camera bag. Open the card holder to take out the SD card. Insert the SD card into the camera. It goes in only one way. The card slot is on the right side of the camera, behind your right hand as you hold it. The SD card will click when it's fully inserted. To remove the card, it's a push-pull action. For now, leave the SD card in the camera. Camera test. With the short lens on the camera and an SD card and a battery inserted, it's time to test the camera. If you're an experienced camera user, set the camera as you wish and take a photo. If you're new to DSLRs, just for the sake of this test, do the following. 1. Remove the lens cap and put it into the camera bag. When the lens cap is not on the camera, the only place for it is in the camera bag. Placing it in your pocket or on the table or on a backpack will result in it getting lost. Lens caps are about $15 to replace, so save your money and always put it in the camera bag when it's not on the lens. 2. Set the camera on auto. Three, release the lens lock by pressing the button on the side of the lens and turning it. Otherwise, there will be a message on the camera saying you need to do so. Four, take a photo by depressing the shutter button. The flash may pop up depending on the light in your environment. Press the play button on the back of the camera to see your picture. Turn off the camera, push down the flash, and return the lens to the locked and closed position. Camera bag. Organize the internal walls of the camera bag so it's about two thirds for the camera, plus a slot for the extra lens and a slot for the battery charger. Put the long lens and battery charger in the camera bag. Card reader. Open the card reader box and put the reader and cable in the front pocket of the camera bag. When it's not being used, it should remain in the camera bag so it doesn't get lost. Card readers are about $30 to replace, so save your money and always put the card reader in the camera bag when it's not plugged into your computer. Camera User Manuals There are two user manuals that came with the Nikon D3500. One is in English, one is in Spanish. Put both of those manuals into the front pocket of your camera bag. Camera strap. Lay the camera strap down in front of you 
behind the camera so that the middle Nikon logo is facing you. Loop the ends around. Find the one end on the right and separate it from the clip holder. Take the end and loop it through the eyelet on the side of the camera from underneath up to about the fold that's already in the strap. Then put it back through that clip holder just the way you found it. That's the easy part. Okay, next you have to make a big loop using the larger clip and get a lot of slack from the strap to make a larger loop. The purpose of that loop is so that you can take the end of the strap and feed it through that clip twice. Once to go in toward the middle of the loop like that and then turn it back around and put it back out so that it comes out. Now, fair warning, this is the hardest part of your whole day. And I struggled a little bit too because I'm trying to do it backwards to the camera also, but it wasn't all that tough. After all, once you get it through, you can grab it and pull the slack out. I almost have it here. And then remove the slack from that loop and you have a nice and secure strap on your camera on the right side. You have to do the same for the left side. Accessories. The black camera body cap and the white lens body cap and the clear SD card holder all go into the top of the camera bag on the inside pocket. Empty camera box. All of the wrapping and packaging and paperwork need to go back into the empty camera box. We keep these items in case there needs to be a return back to the store. The items for the trash can include the card reader box and packaging, the two filter boxes, and the SD card packaging. Check out. When you're finished, put the camera in the camera bag. Alert me to verify you're all done. In future lessons, you'll learn how to set your camera on manual and set it for back button focusing. For now though, you're all finished once I check your work.